Here I have. That shit ain't true. I'm going to show y'all something. I got some Gorilla Glue right here. Super Glue Real. Watch so. I'm going to take it, put it on this cup, put it in my mouth. Put it on here. Then I'll put it on my mouth. Friends, this TikTok Gorilla Glue challenge is really getting out of hand. I'm just gonna call it a challenge now because there is no way that any of this can be an accident. You don't go to the hardware section, buy super glue, spray it in your hair or anywhere else, and get to say that it was an accident. Now a rapper from Louisiana has just shared a viral video from the hospital because of this challenge. I'm gonna get into all the details in a moment, but first, if you could please smash that like button, we would really appreciate the support. And with that out of the way, let's just dive right into today's story. Len Martin, who is a controversial rapper from Louisiana, recently had to visit the hospital after he too applied Gorilla Glue to his lips in response to what Tesca Brown had done. You see, leading up to the removal of the glue from Tesca's hair, Gorilla Glue Girl had been making multiple videos explaining that it was nearly impossible for her to wash it out on her own. Now, instead of feeling sorry for Tesca, Len believed that she was lying about her entire situation. To prove that her situation was not actually as bad as she was making it out to be on TikTok, Len decided to get some Gorilla Glue himself. Martin then states in a video that he has tried out Gorilla Glue before and that it didn't do anything to him. Although he never was specific with where exactly he had tried out the product. Then in his video, he starts huffing about how Gorilla Glue is nothing and how he was going to put it around the rim of this cup and just be able to lick it off, no problem. Problem. Then the cup got stuck to his face, and now with his tail between his legs, he writes in the caption of the Instagram video, I thought that chick with the Gorilla Glue was making that story up, but no, it's real. I don't know why I tried it, now they talking about cutting the tip of my lips off in surgery. Y'all pray for me, hashtag Gorilla Glue challenge, shaking my head. I mean, bruh. You did that all by yourself. That photo of him with the red cup glued to his lips went viral so fast and as you can see, he was being treated by a doctor in the emergency room. Len would later tell his followers that the doctor said the only way to remove the cup was by undergoing a painful peeling process. Len later revealed to media outlets, I thought she was just playing around because I didn't think it was that serious. I actually tried it out before and it actually didn't do anything for me. So I was like, okay, she's lying. And there are all these challenges going on, so I was like, okay, I'm going to try it. And it went backward. He then added, this is definitely not one to try. Let's just stop this now. It's very harmful. Although many people on Instagram were upset with Len and called him out for clout chasing with his Gorilla Glue stunt. Len was scolded by an Instagrammer that said, did you deliberately glue a cup to your face to get famous? Better go call that Dr. Tesco went to. He going tax now though. <laughs> His price going up. Now, believe it or not, but this isn't Len's first rodeo when it comes to partaking in controversial challenges. According to US Daily Report, Len Martin has previously garnered viral attention for the ice cream challenge after he videotaped himself licking a carton of ice cream at the supermarket before returning it to the freezer. You all remember that disgusting challenge? Although even despite that, he is still claiming that this latest video had nothing to do with getting attention. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this recent Gorilla Glue challenge gone wrong though. Do you think that he did it all for clout, or was he that compelled to prove Tesca wrong that he ended up falling victim to the challenge himself? Either way, let me know what you think in those comments down below. And while you ponder that, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled, Billy Eilish Gets Restraining Order for Crazy Stalker. Jody Croft says, Billy had a crazy stalker. Billy stands. So you have chosen death. <laughs> I mean, you don't mess with Billy Stans, that's for sure. Len says, I like how he is stalking her, but can't even spell Billy right. Yeah, that was pretty sad. I mean, at least get the name right, you know? Ivory Icy Boy says, this man dare start a war if police don't get him, Billy fans will. Trust me, he ain't getting away, LMFAO. Definitely do not approach, I will say that. I am in no way encouraging anyone to approach someone that is a stalker of their favorite celebrity. That will not be endorsed, that is dangerous behavior. Plus COVID. Athena says there need to be stronger laws for prosecuting stalking. Yeah, it's like creepy on a different level. And I would say it could go further, right? Like stalking could lead to something even more dangerous. So you're totally right with that one. And with this, Don says, I swear you guys reply to Seth freaking Rollins, however he spells it, at least once a week. Hey, Seth Rollins has got that notification bell turned on. I mean, he's always commenting. So hey, if you want to get featured all the time, you got to be right there when the videos come out. 
Diana says, this is the worst part of being famous, these sick and crazy stalkers. 100%. This is why a lot of people don't like social media for that matter even, because you're just, you're, you're giving away so much and there's so much potential for someone to be able to stalk you. Celebrities, even worse. Fire of Dawn says, glad she got that order. Hopefully he will be apprehended soon. Yes, we will bring you any updates on that story. If anything further happens, like if someone is arrested, I will be the first to let you know. Or one of our other lovely hosts. But for now, that's been today's video. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers. And until next time, stay classy, YouTube.